And what is this side of the aisle doing about it? Not a damned thing. What is this side of the aisle doing about open borders? Nothing. Nothing. What is this side of the aisle doing about an ATF rule about to make felons out of 10 million Americans or more? Nothing. What is this side of the aisle going to do about spending? Lip service. That was Representative Chip Roy, a Republican out of Texas. And to be clear, he was talking to and about his side of the aisle, the GOP. And before we get into what Representative Roy proposes to do about the debt ceiling, for example, here's a reminder about how Republicans have handled legislation thus far in 2023. <sighs> okay, this bill, uh, this deadline for this bill is about to drop. I got I to gotta get something in before it's too late. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let me hand over to my trusted advisor. Oh, that was for the last one. Okay, a bill that bans queer people from water parks. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I say we send it. Representative Roy's general speech took place along the backdrop of arguments being heard by the Supreme Court about whether or not Biden's student debt relief is constitutional. Now, when it comes to open borders and spending, among other things, here's what Roy has in mind. We have a debt ceiling approaching. We're running around like chickens with their heads cut off. We should say something right now. We should pass a bill off this floor saying that we will raise the debt ceiling, but only, only if you end the disastrous student loans that are going to cost $400 billion and drive up the cost of higher ed. Only if you rescind the $91 billion of unobligated COVID money. Only if you go rescind the $80 billion designed to increase the IRS to go after taxpayers. There's a lot in there. So, Roy is placing a contingency on the debt ceiling by trying to rescind student debt relief, COVID relief, and funding for the IRS, reminding me that conservatives are there to undo what Dems are trying to do under the guise of caring for the national debt. With that said, when it comes to debt, the economy, or funding, or most things under Democrats, we know how this goes. I vote for Democrats because they are very clearly better for everyone else. Job growth is typically higher under Democratic presidents, and that's true in both percentage terms as well as just raw numbers. GDP growth tends to be higher under Democratic presidents, at least partly because they're always taking over during recessions that started during Republican administrations. Nine out of the ten poorest states in the country are run by Republicans. And Democratic states tend to have lower rates of poverty across the board. This video could keep going. I could keep going. But a lawmaker is out there acknowledging problems without at least introducing actual ideas to solve them. And look, student debt is a huge issue. So is the cost of a post-secondary education. And the GOP isn't going to do anything about it, even if the Supreme Court overturns student debt relief. Except for, of course, adding to the national debt. Have you met Anna Polina Luna? Whether or not you have, who she is may change. But you can find out more about her by watching this video. Find the link in the description below. And you can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Or just click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. As always, my architect knows Japanese.